So this project is looking at the lung tissues of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. The problems that our medical collaborators are seeing is um, a higher incidence of asthma and other pulmonary problems that aren't explained. We see pervasive dark grains um, throughout the lung tissues that we've uh, examined that are the affected lung tissues. Um, and if we could figure out like what the mineral assemblage is, then maybe we could determine a source. An obvious uh, source is, is just mineral dust in the air because there's lots of dust storms in both Iraq and Afghanistan. And so if you can perhaps like compare the mineral assemblage that you get in uh, the particulates to, for instance, like geology in an area, then maybe you can better pinpoint a source. And then one of the other obvious sources is burn pits. And so they literally, the whole time that uh, they're uh, deployed, there's, they're putting trash in like one specific area in the camp and pouring jet fuel on it and it burns like 24-7. So one of the things that we can look at is, is oxidation state. And so if we would see like an alloy with a, uh, a zero valence state, so it's in uh, the pure metal phase, then we wouldn't necessarily think that that had been burned. It depends on the size of your uh, X-ray beam as to what the size of the particle or target that you're gonna be able to resolve. And one of the things that is interesting about coming to the APS, this is a much smaller beam and it's also much um, higher intensity of photons that are hitting what you're interested in looking at. And so it's a very easy thing to understand, I guess, like visually where the elements are and what they're associated with. We hope to find um, something unique, I guess, about the samples. By finding a like unique signature of the materials, then we might be able to identify a source. And there's a lot of things that they could do if they know the source, maybe try to prevent exposure or try to treat more specifically.